Hey man, I'm gonna do uh, some two note phrases. I'm gonna do a 12 bar blues in a, it's like, I'm thinking A7, D7, A7, A7, D7, D7, A7, another A7, E7, D7, A7, E7. I'm gonna use some notes like, little phrases like for my A, I'm going from a C to an A, and then I'll pivot and go C to D. Back to C, A, and then my favorite, G, A, C, D, A, C, which the reason I picked that is because a D7's got a C note in it. Sounds kind of weird, but it works. Back to A7, which is a 5-8, and then that 5-7. Here's an interesting little minimalist idea, our 6-7. That's just our third interval of an E chord, G-sharp. G-sharp is the third note in an E major scale. It's also part of the chord. I just hit that uh, G-sharp, 6th fret, 4th string, and go to 7th fret, 5th string. So that's a, uh, what do you call it? G-sharp to E. Okay, cool. Then a C, D for my D7 chord. C, A. And then that uh, G-sharp to a D, which is also part of that chord. G sharp to D, part of that E7 chord, which looks like a C chord, and you add your pinky to make it a seven. So anyway, I'm gonna do this at 80 beats a minute, and it's very minimal, very simple, but um, it sounds correct. You know, it's a good exercise. It's not necessarily a rip-roaring solo, but um, I'm gonna go through it two times. Second time, here we go. It's pretty easy, but uh, you know, you can expand on that. So like, uh, oh, by the way, I will send you a PDF if you want that. This is just an exercise. This is like, again, not, not shreddy here, <laughs> but like uh, you could decorate this like. You could definitely, you know, this is just a little Christmas tree. You got to put the decorations on. Uh, that's pretty fun. I was, I was not sure this was a great exercise. I'm just going through some old stuff. But now that I look at it, I'm really excited about this. I'll probably put this in my new book. And uh, yeah, I'm just adding pages as I go. I think I'll probably include this because it's easy. 
And it's like I say, it's a building block to get you loosened up and versus just good, you know, I've known people that just learn the scale and they don't know what to do with it. That does not sound very musical, you know, it's a it's a it's an accomplishment, but if you've got the scale down, then we need to start doing some little phrases that kind of fit the chord progression. Yeah, that's my deal. All right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Take care.